Okay, so we've done subtractive synthesis. I know what you're thinking. Let's do additive next. How? Well, first we're going to get rid of the filter. Uh, you can have a filter in additive synthesis. It's totally cool. I'm just getting rid of it for now. Next, I'm going to change everything to cycles. And the reason for that is that it just makes this a lot easier to listen to when you're first playing with it. You can use whatever other waveforms you want, but uh, this is a good starting point. So let's do that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a look at some of the other parts of the patch and I'm gonna adjust them as necessary. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this scaler right here. And then I'm going to connect that up and I'm going to make this a plus. I'm going to get rid of by quad. Then I'm going to create some additional things here. I'm going to change the values going into M to F. So plus five, plus seven. I'm going to create some more of these uh, plus M to F cycle pairs. Let's duplicate like so. And one more time. So now let's go to 7, 12, 17, plus 19, and plus, how about 24? This gives me, if you've been following with, uh, with the 12-tone math, a gigantic power chord. Now I'm going to connect that to the ADSR multiplier. And then I'm going to hook all of these guys up to this plus, which will sum all of the cycles. And it's going to sound like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Kind of groovy, kind of organ-like, but here's the problem. If I take my gain up to unity... Holy distortion, Batman, that is a problem. Now, you're probably saying, Ben, I know what you're doing. You probably just kind of boneheadedly put everything into the second inlet of plus. Well, let's try it. No, I did not. Plus sums everything that goes into it. It doesn't matter if it's in the left or the right. You could actually put two numbers in the same thing and it would be fine. Um, what's happening here is that we have some seriously crunchy stuff going on because we're not scaling everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could scale this by 0 0.7. Well, that's not good. Now is it? Hmm. What's going on? We're getting some seriously uh, funky stuff going through here still. So let me tell you what to do. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of these individual cables before we sum everything. We're going to duplicate all these cycles and then we're going to change them all to multiply objects to scale the volume of the fundamental and all of the partials. so that they sum effectively to one. What just happened there? No, thank you. So I'm doing this based on just dividing the previous number by zero after that 0.6. Because, you know, you got to start somewhere. And let's do 0 0.125. Actually, that should be... I should have an extra 0 in all of these because I'm not paying attention. I'm just typing... Uh, 625 should be correct. Okay. And that should not be cycle. That should, in fact, be a multiply. Ha. Now, let us connect all of these cycles to their multiples. Then 
then we're going to connect them all up like so and now I have a nice organ-like chord. Um, here's the fun part. What if I change the values up here? What if instead of power chords, I start with, say, all odd harmonics? That's a little bit more interesting. Um, obviously, I would need to change the amplitude as well. Uh, you have gone over all of the amplitude and harmonic uh, partial multipliers that we talked about in uh, my Music Tech 1 class already. So you'll know that I would be doing that directly with frequency multipliers and not with M to Fs. So, hey, let's try this with multiples. And again, the... Uh, Amplitude scaling is not, you know, correct according to the textbook. So this is not going to give me anything close to what you would expect with all the odd partials. But why is it doing that? Well, because when you're taking something in from pitch and it's something like, oh, say, 60, Multiplying by 13, you're getting way outside of the range of something that MIDI can actually do. So you would have to insert that after the M to F. That's why I'm doing plus and doing chords this way. But either option is valid if you put the scaler down under the M to F as if it were, uh, you know, just doing it in the frequency domain. Really? What is your deal, guy, that you're not playing anymore? There we go. Uh, so that is basic additive synthesis. You're creating uh, masses of sound generally related, although you can get some really fun stuff if they're not. Let's try that. By alternating cycles and saws. Uh, so doing that, you create complex harmonics of the carrier wave. It tends to work better if they're all the same waveform, but your mileage may vary.